What advice do you have to leave for your underclassmen? To smile and have a beautiful day. Um, I'd like to just tell the junior class and sophomore class and everyone to finish high school and do everything with compassion because it'll be gone so fast, high school goes by so fast. And don't let your dreams be dreams, just go as far as you can in life and nothing's stopping you. Just do it! Make your dreams come true! Honestly, um, your senior year is the most special, but it also goes by the fastest. So just make the most of it and do your best and don't let it fly by. Always get out of your comfort zone. There's going to be times where you don't want to get out of your comfort zone, but it's going to help you in the long run to develop the skills, people skills, social skills you need in life. Really just have fun. Enjoy it. Enjoy these last few years you got, or if you're a junior, and enjoy your next year, senior year. Um, my advice to the underclassmen would be live your life. Uh, don't take anything for granted, and always try to prove people wrong. All right, look, look, listen here. So, all y'all girls be wanting that like high school musical relationship between like Troy Bolton and Gabrielle. Nah, that that ain't happening. And then y'all be watching that One Tree Hill show, and y'all think that that the Scott brothers and then they gonna come walking in your school, and you gonna live happily ever after with them. And then y'all be watching Friday Night Lights. Like that's how you're supposed to live high school. Let me tell you, that is not how. It, this is not high school musical. This is not Friday Night Lights. Live your life, dog. Whatever. Always wear Air Force Ones. Be a boss. Play sports. Don't dip. That's bad. And disgusting. Bad. Hey guys, I just want to start this out by giving a big thank you to each and every one of my teammates. You have no idea how much each and every one of you mean to me. Y'all are kind of everything to me now, and I can't believe I'm not going to be here next year, but I'm just here to give a big shout out to the juniors that are fixing to be seniors next year, Carissa, Trina, all of you guys. I just want you to know that your senior year is the biggest, and you have no idea how much of an impact it's going to make on you for the rest of your life. I'm proud of each and every one of you, and y'all have your whole lives ahead of you, and I'm, I'm going to be there each and every step of the way. Well, I could go on and on about giving you guys advice, but... Honestly, is the main one I can give you is keep going. Just do your thing. Be yourself. Give us a funny story or a memory that you have to share. Okay, so this one time in sixth grade, Miss Holder took her whole class to the computer lab. And I was sitting beside Parker Sherwood. And I leaned up to tell someone something and look at their computer and I farted really loud. And there's dead silence in this room. And so I looked over at Parker and I was like, Parker! And <laughs> he looks over and he was so red and he was like, it wasn't me. We were out in the field and we were having sword fights with sticks on fire. It was pretty fun until I got hit in the knee. Dakota hit me in the knee, still have scars. All right, well, me and Bradley and Dakota and Jake were at Dakota's house, and we were fighting over some bacon that his mom cooked. It was delicious. But anyway, Jake ended up pushing Dakota off of a balcony and, <laughs> and almost hurt Dakota, but he was fine. It was all good. <laughs> Last weekend at Hope at our softball tournament, uh, I was in a room with Paige Prothrow, and we walked into the room and we smelled this awful smell and she had just taken a dump and it was bad. It stunk out the whole floor. We could smell it from our room too. <laughs> and we had to ask the front desk for Febreze, so. <laughs> it was bad. Little fun fact. <laughs> okay, so we were in eighth grade and we had all this energy built up because we didn't take a test all day long. Miss Bradshaw took our class outside to play volleyball. Okay. So I was back there all serious, you know, ready to make a pass. Somebody hits the ball over the net, and Stormy was like, Wah! I'm like, <laughs> shanks it behind our heads, you know? And I'm like, really, Stormy, like, what the crap? Stop. If, you're, if you don't want to act right, go out there. Guys, I'm for real. I'm about to go LeBron on these people. <laughs> Paige Passmore, Mallory Moon, and they did my homecoming wake up and 
<laughs> My favorite memory with the senior had to be when we were on our way to a football game as cheerleaders and Nathan was asleep and laying across the seats and Corinthia slammed on the brakes and there goes Nathan rolling underneath the seats. So this one time, uh, me and Scott, like I guess everyone wanted us to like freestyle off the top of our head. So uh, I mean they gave us the mic and we had an opportunity that we didn't let go and uh, that's something I'll hold on to forever. <laughs> All right, so this one time uh, in kindergarten, this was the first time I ever used a urinal. And I didn't know that when you pull your pants down, you don't pull them down all the way like you do when you're growing up. So I get at that urinal and I pull my underwear and my pants all the way down to my ankles. And uh, this, this bully, I guess he was like the kindergarten bully came up and he smacked me as hard as he could on the rear end. And um, he left a red mark and so the next day I learned not to do that. So as I was using the urinal the, next, the second day of school, the same dude came up and he just pulled my pants down all the way again and then smacked me. So lesson was not learned. Uh, well, there's this one time in like 11th grade. I didn't, I didn't get it. I guess the law is not to pull your pants down in class, but I did it anyways. Um, this past year at Cross Country State, we about 10 of us on the elevator, and right as it started going up to the third floor, we jumped up and landed. The elevator got stuck in between the first and second floor. We were in there for about an hour. Fire department had to come, shut the power down, pry the, use the, what's the thing's called? The jaws, the jaws of life. <laughs> that, was, that was cool. Okay, so this isn't a high school funny story. This is more like a childhood story. But when I used to play softball as a little kid, my parents, you know, they'd always come to my softball games and stuff. And we were going to this tournament, and I was carrying my helmet and my uh, softball bag and stuff. and. I was thinking, I was like, I need help, Dad, you know? So I asked him, I was like, Dad, I need help with my jock strap. And he, he just kind of looked at me. He was like, what? And I was like, I pointed, I pointed at my chin strap. I was like, Dad, I need help with my jock strap. I need, it to, I need to tighten it. And he was like, and him and my mom just started dying. And I'm like, why are you laughing? I need help. And they're like, Raven, you do not have a jock strap. That is your chin strap. When I was in the third grade, it was, you know, I was in Ms. Gerard's class and we had gone out for recess and Ms. Mitchell went out there with her, you know, and I was just chilling like a villain, Stormy, Brianna, Paige, everybody was out there, you know, we're third graders, man. Funny thing is that that day I had to pee really bad, really bad, really bad, and I had asked Ms. Mitchell, I said, hey, Ms. Mitchell, I need to go to the bathroom. She was just like, no. I was like, okay. She's like, you're not going to the bathroom, Suzette. I was like, okay, Miss Mitchell. So, you know, Miss Obedient, like always, I was all like, you know, I'm gonna get whooped when I get home, but whatever. You only live once, that's a motto. But, you know, I just went to that big, huge tree and held it really tight, and that's whenever I had to pee. I just peed myself, and Miss Mitchell got on to me. I had to talk with Miss Hayes that day. She didn't like me that day. Who is the scariest underclassman? Julia Mitchell. Hands down. She terrifies me. Yep, confirmation. Terrifying. She will murder you. She's a lot stronger than me. What will you miss most about your seniors? They're all so fun and very influential. Um, I don't know a whole bunch of them personally, but I'm going to miss their influence most definitely. Um. Probably about, like, you could always go to them for advice, and <laughs> um, I just feel like when they're gone that we won't have that kind of connection anymore. I think just how much fun they are. They're all, y'all are all so entertaining. I don't know, y'all are, I think y'all are so close-knit. Who is the most inspirational senior? Most inspirational has to be Mallory Moon because she's always smiling and happy and joyful. Sam Strain because he's the biggest dairy farmer in America. Yep. I would have to choose Mallory Moon because, well, she's just bouncy and always smiling. For me, it was, it's probably Raven 
and Emory because uh, I've looked up to them for a long time and they've <clears throat> always been some of my role models. So. Mallory Moon. She is funny. She is wild. She's witty. She's happy. She's nice. Has always been nice to me. We were on cheer together this year. And she was just so encouraging and so motivational. I really have a lot of um, respect for her. The most inspirational senior, although she might be the scariest, is Suzette because she's always confident and she's just always making everyone happy. Who is the scariest senior? Scary senior. Senior. Suzette. Pro throw. Suzette. <laughs> Suzette. Why? I mean, it's Suzette. <laughs> She's not scared of anything. Well, she might be, but she don't show it. Suzette Montavon because she's a thug. <laughs> the scariest senior has to be Suzette. Probably Jody. She's like five foot of pure evil. Who is your senior crush? Mallory Moon. At the end? At the end. Drop my down. Slowly, slowly the mic down. Oh yeah, drop it here. Gently. <laughs> okay, okay bet. bet. All right. Okay. Are you are you are you recording? Oh, oh. Is mic check. Is that okay? Mic check. Check 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 check. Uh, are you ready? Do I just go? <laughs> You're not gonna put this on here, are you? Okay. So do I look at the camera? Or do I look at you? <laughs> hey. All right. All right. I don't see a bird. <laughs> So here we go, after every bar. Y'all been trying to get this on the mic all year. Mm. So here it is, please don't shed a tear. Mm. Here it is, that freestyle is crucial, fool. Mm. Y'all underclassmen be thinking this is like high school musical. Mm. Jewish like Drake, mm. but I got that cake. Hey. Half y'all people fake. Ooh. You wanna go to Miss Reedy's and bake? Yeah. Hey. We go to school with a bunch of wiggas. Mm. Call me Winnie the Pooh, this is my brother here, Tigger. Mm. White girl, please don't shake your jigger. Mm. Cause you already know that I'm the real nit. <laughs> Working 12 years for a piece of paper. A. That's all I got to show from my hard days of labor. Dang. I'm behind the camera, Ooh. dropping the hammer. Hey. When in doubt, don't pout. I see it in your eyes, you're about to sprout. You mm. cannot be successful on the couch. Is it on? Right. Right now? Mm -hmm. yeah. Make okay. a face at you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are you recording? Am I supposed to start oh, whenever? Sorry, <laughs> a long, long time ago, in a land far, Far away. I don't like it. Nope. Cut. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> he stormed me. You remember that one time? In eighth grade when I almost ripped your face off? Yeah, that was that time. <laughs> you need to clear your throat. Oh, girl. I thought, it sounded like I had a bug in it. Cut. Cut. Cut it. No, cut it. Stop. Like, stop the track. My mama always taught me not to live in the past or the future, um, so I'm living right now in this moment, which is why it's called the present, because it's a gift.